Dear students, in the chapter surface areas and volumes, today we will study how to find the volume of a sphere. To find the volume of a sphere, we have to apply a rule which is 4 by 3 pi r cube. This formula is derived using a complicated procedure. So for the time being, we can just memorize volume of a sphere is four by three pi r cube. So what about a hemisphere? Hemisphere will be half of the circle. So half of four by three pi r square will be two by three pi r cube. Once again, Volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube and volume of a hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. And it is volume, so the unit will be unit power 3. Let's see the first question. Find the volume of a sphere whose radius is 7 centimeters. So first of all, we apply volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube which is equal to four by three times 22 by seven times, seven times, seven times, seven, R cube. Seven and seven get canceled, which will be 88 times 49 divided by three, which is 4,312 divided by three. And we can keep it as a mixed number because it will be a repeating number because the denominator is three. And 4,312 is not divisible by three. Let's see the next question. Volume of sphere is four by three pi r cube, which is four by three times 22 by seven times 0 0.63. Again, 0 0.63, 0 0.63. 7. How to simplify 0. 0.63 divided by 7? 0. Pull the decimal up. 6 is not enough, so mark a 0. Now we have 63. 63 divided by 7 is 9. And you can also simplify with 3, 0. 0.03. So we get 88 multiplied by 0. 0.03 multiply 0 0.63, multiply by 0 0.63 again, which is equal to 1.05. And the decimal is continuing. So we need only up to two decimal places. So it is rounded approximately 1.05 meter cube. Let's see the next question. Find the amount of water displayed by a solid spherical ball of diameter. So we have to rewrite the radius which is 14 centimeter and here also 0 0.21 divided by 2 meter. So volume of sphere 4 by 3 times 22 by 7 times 14 times 14 times 14. So we get the answer 88 times 28 times 14 divided by three. Again, there is a denominator three. So we will get it as a mixed number, which is 11,498, two by three centimeter cubed. That's a volume of this given sphere with radius 14. And the next question, four by three pi r cubed, I'm repeating uh, the, each and every question so that it will give you some idea how to simplify questions with decimals, decimals with denominator, denominators which can be converted to decimals, which can keep it as a mixed number, all such cases. 21 by 2, 0 0.21 by 2, again. 4 can be cancelled with 2's here, 7. How to cancel 7? 0. Point Two is not enough. Now we have 21, so three. This three can be canceled, 0 0.01. 0 0.01 multiplied by 22, we can move the decimal two steps back, so it changes to be 0 0.22 times these two numbers. 21 square we have studied, it is 441, with four digits after the decimal, so this will be the case. 
and we have a denominator there only two and this can also be simplified so which will be equal to 0 0.00485 meter cube next question the diameter of a metallic ball is 4.2 centimeter therefore the radius is 2.1 centimeter what is the mass of the ball if the density of the metal is 8.9 so anyway we have to find the volume to find the mass so volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cubed which is 4 by 3 times 22 by 7 times 2.1 times 2.1 times 2.1 see how to simplify this now 2 is not enough so 0 now we get the number 21 so it is 3 and again we can divide by 3 so it is 0 0.1 88 times 0 0.1 and 2.1 can be 0 0.21 because after decimal 1 2 so two numbers times 2.1 Again, we can simplify 88 times 21 and 21 is 441. After decimal, we have three digits, one, two, three. So 0 0.441, which will give 38.808 centimeter cube. And now to find the mass for one centimeter cube, it is 8.9 gram per centimeter cube. So for 38.808 total mass will be 38.808 multiplied by 8.9 grams which will be equal to approximately because we are going to round the number 345.39 grams. It's just normal multiplication and then move the decimals four steps back because we have one, two, three, four. And then round the number to two places after the decimal. Let's see the next question. The diameter of moon is approximately one fourth the diameter of earth. We need radius. So if diameter is one fourth, the radius is also one fourth. Let R be the radius of moon and capital R be radius of earth. So the relation between the radius of moon and earth is one fourth. So we can say capital R is four times small letter R. What fraction of volume of earth is the volume of moon? So we can write it's related to volume. So we apply the rule for volume. Therefore volume of moon divided by volume of earth is equal to four by three pi R cube divided by 4 by 3 pi r cube. But we can replace letter r by 4r. Now you can cancel these two and these two. So we have r cube divided by, capital R can be replaced by 4r. So 4r, remember the whole cube. So we have r cube divided by 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 r cube. Now we can cancel these two. So the fraction is 1 by 64. Therefore, volume of moon is 1 64th the volume of Earth. Isn't it easy? Just this is what we have to remember regarding questions related to moon and Earth. Radius of Earth is four times the radius of Moon. Let's move on to question five. How many liters of milk can a hemispherical bowl of diameter 10.5 centimeter hold? Once again, we have to write the radius as 10.5 divided by two centimeter. Question is, how many liters? So we have to find volume of hemisphere, which is equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube, which is 2 by 3 times 22 by 7 times r cube. Two and two get cancelled. This will be 11. Seven is 
and from 10 you can take 1 7 so you have 3 left 3 and 5 with decimal will give you 35 so 35 divided by 5 is 5 so the answer is 1.5 1.5 can be divided by 3 it will 1 is not enough so 0 0.5 so we have 11 times 0 0.5 times 10.5 times 10.5 and we have one two is left which is equal to 303 centimeter cube the question is how many liters we have studied thousand centimeter cube is one liter so this didn't reach one 1000 so it will be less than a liter so we have to divide by 1000 so it is 0 0.303 liters of milk in this hemispherical bowl let's see the next question a hemispherical tank is made up of an iron sheet one centimeter thick so from here to here is one centimeter if the inner radius is one meter from this to this is one meter then find the volume of the iron used to make the tank remember this shape is not proportional because one meter should be too long and the thickness should be too small but for understanding i i prepared it this way so we have to first of all convert both of these units to be the same so one centimeter is 0 0.01 meter moving two steps back so we can say volume of the iron used to make the tank so volume of the iron used will be the larger hemisphere minus the empty space so we have studied it many in many situations how to find the volume of an object which is empty inside a required volume is equal to larger volume minus inner volume it is a hemisphere so 2 by 3 pi the larger one let us take r cube minus 2 by 3 pi r cube here the larger radius is 1.01 .01 meter and the small radius is 1 meter only 2 by 3 and pi is common in both of these cases so 2 by 3 pi is outside and we have r cube minus r cube which is 2 by 3 times 22 by 7 times capital r is 1.01 .01 cube minus 1 cube 1.01 1 .01 cube is 1.03 approximately so we have to take an approximate value 2 times 22 so it is approximately 44 by 21 times 1.03 minus 1 which is 44 by 21 times 0 0.03 we can simplify 0 0.01 and 7 0 0.44 divided by 7 and finally we will we can divide and get the answer 0 0.063 meter cube will be the volume of the iron used to make the tank let's see the next question find the volume of a sphere whose surface area is 154 to find volume of a sphere we need radius 4 by 3 pi r cube only radius we are not given radius instead we are given surface area so we have to go back to surface area of a sphere is equal to do you remember the total surface is can be found in four circles so four pi r square so we are given four pi r square is 154 therefore we can find the radius 22 by 7 times the square of the radius is 154 or square of the radius is 154 multiplied by 7 is up and 4 times 22 is down and we have found the relation 22 times 7 will, will give us 154 therefore r square is 49 by 4 and taking the square root r is equal to 7 by 2 that is the radius 
Now using this radius, we can find the volume of the sphere, four by three times 22 by seven times seven by two, seven by two, again, seven by two. Four can be canceled. Once again, two can be canceled and seven can be canceled. So we have 11 times 49 divided by three, 539 divided by three, and again, divide by three. So it is gonna be a mixed number, 179, two by three centimeter cube. If you convert this as a decimal, it is repeating, so we have to use approximate. But if you write as a mixed number, we can just write, it is perfectly equal. Let's see the next question. A dome of a building is in the form of a hemisphere. From inside, it was whitewashed at the cost of 4,989.60 if the cost of whitewashing is 20 per square meter. Total cost is calculated by area multiplied by the unit cost will give us the total cost. In this equation, we have unit cost, which is, which is 20, and total cost with 4,989.6. So we can find the area. Therefore, area is equal to total cost 4,989.6 divided by 20. 249.48 meter square. Curved surface area of hemisphere is 249.48 meter square. That was the first question. Next question is to find the volume volume of hemisphere is equal to two by three pi r cube. For that we need the radius and radius is not given. So we can find the radius from the curved surface area. So let us find the radius from curved surface area. Curved surface area of a hemisphere is two pi r square and we have the area with us. So two times 22 by seven times r square is 249.48. Therefore, radius is equal, square of the radius is equal to 249.48 times seven divided by 44. So we get r square is equal to 39.69 or taking square root, we will get 6.3 is the radius and the unit is meter. Applying this radius in the rule for finding the hemisphere, volume of a hemisphere, we can find it. Two by three multiply by 22 by seven multiply, 6.3 times 6.3 times 6.3. Six is not enough, 0 0.9, 0 0.3. So 44 multiply 0 0.3, multiply by 6.3, multiply by 6.3. And finally, we get the answer, 523.9 meter cube. You can multiply two numbers first, Again, the other two and then multiply two answers, you will get this answer. This is the volume of air inside the dome. Let's see the next question. 27 solid iron spheres, each of radius R and surface area S are melted to form a sphere with surface area S dash. Find the radius R dash of the new sphere. Of course, we will get the answer in terms of S and S dash or R or R dash. First of all, we can find 27 times the volume of small sphere, which is four by three pi R cube, will be equal to four by three pi r dash cube because the new radius is r dash. So four by three, four by three get canceled, pi and pi get canceled. So we get 27 r cube is equal to r dash cube. We need to find what is r dash. So r dash is equal to cube root of 27 r cube. And we know that cube root of 27 is three, three and three get canceled, so three r. So R dash is three R. And the next question is to find the ratio of S and S dash. S is the surface area of the small 
sphere so we can find a ratio between them 4 pi r square which is the surface area of small sphere is to 4 pi r dash square but r dash can be replaced as 3r so 4 pi r square divided by 4 pi r 3r square this is surface area s is to s dash 4 and pi get cancelled so we have r square divided by don't forget 3 square so 9 r square Again, R square get cancelled, so the ratio is so is 1 is to 9. Easy, right? Now moving on to the last question of this chapter. A capsule of medicine is in the shape of a sphere of diameter 3.5 mm. So we have the radius, which is 3.5 divided by 2 mm. How much medicine is needed to fill this capsule, which means volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cubed, which is 4 by 3 times 22 by 7 times 3.5 by 2, 3.5 by 2, 3.5 by 2, which is equal to 4 can be cancelled, 7 can be cancelled, 2 also can be cancelled. So we have 11 times 0 0.5 times 3.5 times 3.5 divided by 3. When we multiply and divide by 3 approximately after rounding to two decimal places, we will get the answer 22.46 meter cube because our answer will have more than three decimal places. So when you round it to two decimal places, it will be approximately. This is the quantity of medicine in this capsule. So here we come to the end of chapter 13. Keep practicing. Try to memorize the rules of surface area, volume, and also we have to concentrate on two things in every question even after memorizing the rules. Number one, make sure all the units are the same. If not, convert them. Second one, have a look. Are they asking for hemisphere, full shape or half shape? And also you have to see the, in the given condition, are you given diameter or radius? Wishing you all the success. Good luck, take care and see you soon.